seventh in this tournament. Morocco, you can probably see, say that they were a little bit unlucky not to progress to the fifth, sixth place playoff, but uh, they are will be considered the favourites to beat Senegal. And it will be Morocco in their white strip and Senegal in their red colours as well. Senegal, a team that we've seen in their 15s format on the Gold Cup last year, but they finished at the bottom of the pool. And that meant that they were demoted to the Silver Cup. And on this occasion, that weren't able to progress in the Silver Cup. They lost to Algeria. And next weekend it will be Algeria versus Zambia in the Silver Cup final and the winner of that game will progress to the Gold Cup next season. So Morocco to take the kickoff from right to left playing against the win in the first half. And then it will be Senegal with the wind at their back. So just waiting for the final whistle or the whistle of the referee to get them underway and the referee says let's go let's get this match underway four games remaining in this uh, 2018 men's sevens and immediately it's Senegal who make the break down the right hand side of the field it's Sagnor with a good run he's been prominent for this uh, Senegalese side in this competition thrown uh, behind Saab but he managed to take the ball back into the hands of Kamara the captain now and into the hands of Ndiaye who makes a good break but it's Messi now for the Senegalese Morocco trying to disrupt the ball and they looked like they might have turned it over at that breakdown but I think Senegal just retaining it somehow so it's still available for Senegal as it goes to Babakar Ba now into the hands of Dan Facha Dan Facha with good stepping gets past a couple of defenders does well to get the pass away on the inside and it will be Mamadou Sarr who goes over for the first points of this game and Senegal with a surprising 5-0 lead perhaps 7-0 inside the first minute great combination from Mamadou Sarr and Cheko Dan Facha the Russian player from France he's normally an outside center you can just see his skills there and the inside offload great support from Mamadou Sarr and a very good conversion too and that takes Senegal seven points up here you see the great play from Dan Farka and then Saar great support look at the athlete that this man is there was no stopping him a clear run to the trial line over the whitewash and Senegal in control of this game very early on one minute 30 on the clock Senegal now with the restart and Morocco with the first opportunity for them to play with ball in hand. And it's a good break coming down this left hand side as Anouf gets the pass away on the inside. And now Senegal doing well to keep that player up, but he's been has a knee on the ground, which meant that the Senegalese players had to release him. Now it's taken forward by Al Hajaji. Good running this from the Moroccan players. Bujuala with the break and it eventually goes into the hands of Kadri it looks like. And it will be a try for Morocco to level matters with the simplest of conversions to come. In fact it was Al Kaulouni and the Moroccan bench a little bit happier after that score. It should be seven apiece after two and a half. Well, Morocco strikes straight back from the kickoff and uh, even the the scores up so they share in the point seven all and uh, easy play from Morocco just quite simple using the offloads really well and again that support line nice and close to the ball carrier at pace is devastating in the sevens game and uh, seven apiece Short uh, little restart from the Moroccan side almost worked out as it almost resulted in a intercept but it's still available for Morocco now taken out by Bouja into the hands of Anouf it goes and Anouf gets the offload away as well and Morocco looked like they might have just been stopped short but I think the ball went over the try line and I think it's Bilal El Kaulouni again who maybe managed to put that ball up against the upright so Morocco take the lead for the first time in this match. Well, Kaluni just doing the job. 
this Moroccan side. And again, it's the kickoffs that are so crucial. Morocco do a, do a cl clever little grubber kick into the space that the Senegalese left in their kickoff setup, and they were able to return the ball and uh, it will get retain the ball from the kickoff and then just played a couple of phases and there was that man Kaluni. Yeah, you just see the leg drive nice and strong and it's the momentum that carries him over and it's a very clear try for the referee and Morocco take the lead. This time a little bit more of a traditional kickoff or restart rather and it rolls out into touch. So it will be a line out for Senegal just outside there in 22. And Senegal a little bit stunned here after scoring that opening try. Morocco responding with two five pointers of their own. To throw in for Senegal it will be Babacar Ba who did feature in that Gold Cup last year for Senegal. He throws over the top so it's picked up by Bouja. Gets the offload away to El Hajaji. Maybe brought to ground on the 22 meter line. Picked up now by Alexander Bugja. Long pass coming this way to Amrani into the hands of Bujuala now. Good defense by Senegal as they manage to drive Morocco backwards. Mohamed Bujuala back to play scrum off into the hands of El Hajaji, opting to go for a little chip kick, but it's been covered by Ndiaye. And this is where Senegal can also be extremely dangerous as they swing the ball out wide into the hands of Mamadou Nyang. And it will be Nyang who goes over for Senegal. And the score is level, the conversion to come. And I think this is where Morocco will be kicking themselves after they miss that simple conversion because they could have still been ahead, but it's uh, now an opportunity for Senegal to take the lead. It's a loose play from Morocco and they pay the price with the pace from Senegal down that short side. Mama Nudu Niang, fantastic athlete. And uh, this is going to be a difficult conversion for the Senegalese. There's a wind at the back, a big angle to take, but it will potentially, if he misses it, take it 12 or If he gets it, Senegal will take the lead again in the game. It's a decent strike, but just doesn't have the distance. Yeah, you see Niang just puts the hammer down, big pace. Morocco giving up halfway through, not able to get a hand and touch him. Mamadou Sar, the man to take the restart with the wind at his back, decides to go deep. Well covered there by Kaluni for the Moroccan side. Now Senegal working hard to push them out into touch. And it will be a, another good attacking platform here for Senegal. They decide to take it quickly, almost intercepted, but it's still available for Senegal. Mamadou Sar, the man there trapped in with possession on the 10 meter line of Morocco. And now they're working very hard to try and get over that ball. And the penalty, well, I thought that might be a penalty against the Moroccan side, but the scrum has been awarded for Morocco as they managed to win that ball back. And we will have time for the scrum to see if one of these two teams can perhaps take the lead just before half time. Disappointing, you had to see so many players going off their feet to that ruck. And I do think the referee could have officiated that a little bit better, but he does award the ball to Morocco for a knock on from the Senegalese. They look to take that quick quick throw in from the line and obviously looking at their last line which they lost with the overthrow and it's the last piece of this half Al Kaluni taking the ball forward for Morocco as he gets past a couple of defenders and Al Kaluni now Puts on the pace and he's going to go all the way for the try that puts Morocco back in the lead. And that will be a big blow for Senegal conceding that try after the Hooter went. After they fought so hard to get back on level terms. But it will be Morocco will take a seven point advantage into the second half. 
as uh, this should be a, a simple conversion. Has he been prolific in this first half? Has Carl Looney, that brings up the hat trick for him and uh, doing his part for this Morocco team. Disappointing for Senegal. They took that quick throw in from the lineup when it really wasn't on, and they've paid the price for that, particularly with a conversion that's just come. And that takes Morocco 19 12 ahead of Senegal as they go into the halfway mark. So after conceding just before half time, it's Senegal trailing 12 19 against Morocco in this playoff for 7 and 8. In the 2017 edition of the tournament, Senegal lost out to Zambia and they had to settle for a sixth place finish. At the moment, uh, they're not going to be able to live up to that standard, but they are still fighting to finish seventh. But they'll have it all to do here in the second half. Morocco look a little bit more of a, a settled side at the moment. Morocco will also be disappointed after they were knocked out of the Gold Cup this year. They finished at the bottom despite that impressive performance that they pulled off in Zimbabwe where they managed to draw with the Sables. But after that it was tough going for them. They suffered a few heavy defeats. One against Namibia, also one against Uganda in Uganda. And then, in fact, we were back here about two months ago where Morocco and Tunisia played and the loser of that game would finish at the bottom of the pool and it ended up being Morocco. So an opportunity for them here to finish seventh and at the moment they look well on track for that. Senegal losing the ball forward there. So Morocco deciding to kick it downfield. Good little kick by Bujuala and the referee saying that that was enough advantage. Morocco all over that breakdown. They're falling over but the referee not seeing it that way. So still it's an advantage for Morocco as they remain on the attack inside the half of Senegal. Taken forward by Al Hajaji. That pass not quite going to hand and it's been intercepted by Senegal and this will result in another try for the Senegalese. It's Mamadou Ndiaye. He's usually a wing in the game of 15s and he shows his speed as he goes over for the try that will put Senegal back on level terms. When Diaye was just hunting that ball, as soon as he saw the pass go to ground and start to bounce around, he just accelerated onto the ball, and that gave them the momentum to shear off that uh, Moroccan challenge. And he goes all the way under the poles for Morocco, and they're just keeping their, their, uh, their tails in this game. Here you see the breakaway from Diaye. A lot of pace, unchallenged. And uh, Senegal not giving up. Still a lot of time on the clock. 19 apiece. And uh, lots to play for here. A lot of these players will also play against each other in the Silver Cup next year. With uh, Morocco now back in the Silver Cup and Senegal not being able to get back in the Gold Cup before the 2019 edition. Taken out at the back for Morocco by Bujuala. Quick hands by Al Hajaji. Picked up by Troy Anouf. Anouf throwing a couple of dummies before he eventually lets it go to Al Hajaji. And then he gets the man away on his outside. And this will be the score that puts Morocco back in the lead. Back and forth this game is going. And Morocco should be in the lead by seven with five minutes remaining. The strike straight back from Morocco. And Senegal didn't have 
a sweeper in behind, so not able to push that man to the corner, and that's really important. We talk about these being conversions being critical, and it's your sweeper who's got to make the last tackle or push that ball carrier right into the outer corners of the field. But uh, in this case, he goes under the poles, converts, and Morocco keep their lead. So a simple conversion attempt missed by Morocco. And the score remains Morocco 4, Senegal 19. So converted try here for the Senegalese will put them back in the lead. And Morocco with the basic mistake from the restart. Liam as a coach, uh, that will cause you to pull your hair out. Very frustrating because you just hand position back to your opposition team and Senegal are certainly on the hunt for another score and look at this from the Senegalese great power and that's the price you pay for not kicking off well in the sevens game also the price you pay for not uh, getting that conversion over because this should be a simple one for Mamadou Saad and this will put Senegal back in the lead So two-point ball game now in favor of Senegal and we are into the final three and a half minutes. It's the first time Senegal have led in this game and it was very simple sevens from them. Just a straight pass and a powerful run from Sagno. Just picked a spot between two Moroccan defenders, put the hammer down, powered his legs through and it was an easy run in for him. But he got under the poles and that conversion so critical in this game. 26-24, Senegal leading, three minutes to play. These two teams, of course, also big soccer rivals, two of the big football countries on the African continent. So relatively close together on the African continent. So they would have met a number of time in the game of football, also on the rugby field, and now an opportunity for one of them to be get the bragging rights in the game of sevens. Morocco trying to run the ball out from their own 22. It was uh, Omar Barakat, the try scorer. He lost it forward, and Senegal could go in the lead here with an extra seven points. Good dummy thrown. Still making their way forward are the Senegalese. And again, it's Morocco all over that ball at the breakdown. They managed to turn it over, and they've got the advantage if they need it. Some space to try and exploit on that far side. And they're not able to hold onto the ball, so it will be a scrum for Senegal. And it will also eat up a few more seconds with the under two minutes left for Morocco to try and get back in the lead. On those sides, really controlled the possession in this game. They've gone back and forward in their possession. And uh, Senegal just let off the hook there with a knock on from Morocco. But they get to put in the scrub. Got a lot of space to work with. Scrum on the five meter line on the right hand side. And. Um, have got Niang on this left hand side huge amount of pace to burn from that man if they can get the ball to him with quality passing that's going to be the crucial part pass coming to this near side to Mamadou Ndiaye back in the hands of Ndiaye now but he loses it forward picked up by Omar Al Hajaji Hajaji now to Bujuala now it's available for Al Hajaji again. Back it goes to Mohamed Pujuala. Oh, and he puts a foot out into touch with under a minute to go. And Senegal need to make sure that they win this ball from the line out and keep it for a phase or two and then try and boot it out when they hear that full time who to go. Change being made as well for Senegal as Mohamed So makes his way onto the field. A critical part in the game this is for Senegal. Their lineouts haven't been particularly good in this game and in the tournament. So it's important that they win the ball from the line. They're going to have to keep it for a couple of phases. Ten seconds to go before the hooter. And uh, if the hooter goes before they throw the ball in, then there's an opportunity for them just to kill the game straight away. The such substitutions being made. Alkamendi, the little maestro from Senegal, coming off the field. Interesting substitution there. 
So first part has been won. The ball has been won from Senegal and then they lose it on the five meter line. So Morocco with an opportunity to steal the win at the death. They could not have asked for a better attacking platform here, Morocco. Well, time has been up on the clock for about 30 seconds, but no hooter. There it is there. So next play is the end of this game, unless it's a penalty. Oh, strong scrum coming from Senegal, looking to disrupt the ball. It looks like it's still there for the Moroccans. Into the hands of El Kaluni. Kaluni powering his way forward and he loses the ball forward. So Senegal victorious. And the misconversion right in front, proving the difference. Morocco going down by only the two points and a well-deserved victory for Senegal. Last year they finished sixth this year was they in seventh position but still a good performance from them and definitely one that they will be proud of as they make their way back to Senegal tomorrow Morocco will have to do some soul searching last year they finished in the seventh place so a one worse finish for them as well as they have to settle for eighth place in this uh, 2018 edition but handshakes all around and a good performance in the end from the Senegalese So confirmation here in this 7th 8th playoff, it's Senegal victorious over Morocco by 26 to 24.